All right, hello. Uh, today we're going to be talking about lesson 1.6, add whole numbers. And our question is basically the same as the title, how can you add whole numbers? So our unlock the problem today is Alaska is the largest state in the United States by area. Its land area is 570,000. 374 square miles, and its water surface area is 86,051 square miles. Find the total area of Alaska. So when we're talking about finding the total area, we're going to add, and it says underline what you were asked to find. So start there, underline what you were asked to find. And we have to find the total area of Alaska. What information would you use to solve that? Well, we know it has a land area of 570,374. And we know its water surface area is 800, I'm sorry, 86,051. So whenever we're adding, it's important to line up the add-ins by place value, okay? And so step one, it says here, add the ones, add the tens, okay? So I would write one of the numbers. Really doesn't matter which number comes first. Okay, community property of addition says the order in which you add two numbers does not change the sum. Okay, and then when I get to the next one, you'll notice that I turn my paper sideways, okay? It has the columns to help you line up your numbers by place value. So we do not want to line up the numbers from the far left to the far right. We don't want the largest value to line up the digits. We have to start in the ones place. So we're going to start from the ones and go to the left. So I'm going to add a the one underneath the four, I'm going to put ten, five under the sevens. I'm going to put zero under the three. I'm going to put six under the zero. And I'll put eight under the ten thousands. Okay, so I've lined up my place value. Okay, and again, now in step one, it says add the ones. So four plus one is five. And there's no need to regroup there. 7 plus 5, I notice is 12 tens. Well, 12 tens is the same as 102 tens. I can't write 12 in any one place value. The largest digit I can put in a single place value is a 9. So when I get to 10 or greater, I have to regroup. So I'm going to leave the two ones. So I'm going to rename the 12 tens as 100 and two tens. So that's why we put the one above the hundreds. Okay, this stands for 120, 12 tens. Okay, now we're going to add the hundreds and add the thousands. So three plus one, the regrouped one is four. There's no need to regroup. And then we move to the thousands and we get 6,000. Again, no need to regroup. Okay, when I get to the next one, the 10,000s, we notice that we're going to have to regroup. <clears throat> 8 plus 7 is 15 10 thousands. Again, I can't write 15 here, so I'll write the 5, and I'll regroup 10 of the 10,000s as 100,000. Okay, then we'll finish it up by adding the hundred thousands. And we have five plus one, five hundred thousand plus the regrouped hundred thousand to give us six hundred fifty six thousand four hundred twenty five. So again, on my paper. Um, I'm showing this for when we do our independent practice. 
I'm going to have the numbers that we do lined up and I'm going to keep my problems orderly and neat. I'm not just going to jump all over the paper. So here's number one and I added the ones and I got five. I added the tens, I get 12 tens and I'll regroup 10 of the tens as 100. So 102 tens. Now add the hundreds, we get 400. Next place value is the thousands. So we'll add up and we get 6,000. We got to the 10,000 and we have 15. So we're going to regroup the 15 10 thousands as one 100,000 and five 10 thousands. And we get a value of 656,425. And so that is our complete answer. And number 28. <laughs> number 28. Page 28. You can estimate to tell whether an answer is reasonable. And the reason we'd want to do that is just to verify that our answer is in the right neighborhood. Sometimes we add or subtract and our answer is way off. And so we want our answers to always make sense. So we can estimate to tell whether an answer is reasonable. And to estimate a sum, we're going to round each add end before you add. Okay, so here in this example, it wants us to estimate, then find the sum. Juno has an area of 2,717 square miles. Valdez has an area of 222 square miles. What is their combined area? So the keyword here is combined. That's a clue that we are adding. Okay, and it says use the grid to help you align the add-ins by place value. We also have the line paper that I suggested. So I'm just gonna write the first number. 2,717, and we're going to add 222 to it. Now remember, we're going to line up our numbers from right to left. So 2 goes underneath the first 7, 2 under the ten, 110, and 2 under the 700s. And then we're going to add. Okay, so here, to fill out our book, we have that. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry, uh, this should be 200. They want us to round. Okay. So if I was rounding 2,717 to the nearest thousand, it would be 3,000. We'd underline the two, circle the seven, and 700 is closer to the next higher thousand, so 3,000. 222, we'd underline the 200s, circle the tens, and we'd have 200. Okay, so our estimate should be around 3,200. Okay, so if I get an answer that's say 30,000, I know that somewhere along the line I might have, I probably made a mistake. Okay. <clears throat> So the combined area of Juno and Valdez is about 3,200 square miles. Now find the sum. So now we're going to actually add our number. And they start with the 2,717. We're going to line up by place values right to left. So we put the three twos. And here we have seven plus two is nine. There's no need to regroup. Two plus one, three. No need to regroup. Seven plus two, nine. We don't need to regroup. And two plus nothing, 2,000. So the combined area of Juno and Valdez is 2,939. Is the sum reasonable? So is... 2,900 close to 3,200. It is. If we rounded 2,900 to the nearest thousand, we'd have 3,000. If we round this one to the nearest thousand, it would be 3,000. So the answer is reasonable. Okay. 
So the answer is reasonable because 2,939 is close to 3,200. On our paper, again, I just want to show the work that we're doing here. So this is actually letter B because we're adding the actual amount. And we, we talked about lining up the place value. So in our lined paper, we lined up the ones and we had a total of nine ones. We lined up the tens and we have three tens. We lined up to the hundreds and we have nine hundreds. There was nothing to line up with the thousands, so it was just two. Okay. All right, now number one. Use the grid to find 738,000 plus 162,389. <clears throat> so, so we need to make sure we have enough space. So this is six digits, so I need to have six numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's fine. Seven, three, eight, nine, zero, one. 738,901. And we're going to be adding 162,389. I'm going to start with the ones and go right to left. So nine. Eight, three, two, six, one, and they said find, or they gave us an addition sign. So we've lined up all our place values. <clears throat> Nine plus one is ten. Well, we've talked about that we can't put ten as a single digit in a place value, so I'm going to have to regroup the one ten as a ten and no ones. Now I can add the tens. I'm going to have eight plus the regrouped 10, nine. I'll then move to the hundreds and I have nine plus three, which is 12. So 12 hundreds, we're gonna to have to regroup as 1,000 and two hundreds. We can move to the thousands. We have eight, Plus 2 is 10, plus the regrouped 1,000. We have 11 1,000s. <clears throat> so I'm going to have to regroup one of the 11,000s as a 10,000 and one 1,000. Next, we have 6, 9, plus the regrouped is 10. I'm going to have to regroup the 10 10,000s as 100,000. And now add the hundred thousand seven eight nine, so we get nine hundred thousand two hundred ninety. All right, page twenty nine, number two. So we're going to estimate first. So number two. I'm going to go ahead and show my work on a separate sheet of paper. I wrote the first number, and then we're going to line up the place value of the second number. Okay. And it wants us to estimate. So here, I will go ahead and estimate right here. And we want to go to the nearest thousand, say. Okay. <clears throat> So if I round to the nearest thousands, you could also round to the nearest 10,000. It's your choice as to what you round to. The, the further you go to the right as far as place value and what you're rounding to, the more exact your estimate will be. So I'm going to round to the nearest thousand. And the nine is greater than five. So I'll, I'm going to increase the thousands by one. I'm going to round up. I'm going to round the second number to the same place value. You need to be consistent. If you round one to the thousands place, the other should be rounded to the thousands. Okay, this is five or greater, so I'm going to round up to 19,000. Okay, so I should come up with an answer that's close to 92,000. Okay, how did we get that? I went nine plus three is 12. I, re I regrouped the... 12 thousands as one ten thousand and two one thousands, and then I added the ten thousands. 
Okay, so we're lined up our place value. Now we're going to find the exact answer. 3 plus 1 is 4. No need to regroup. 6 plus 3 is 9. We're not going to regroup. 9 plus 5 is 14. We will group the 1,400 as 1,000 and 400. The thousands, 8, 9, 10, plus the regroup thousand is 11,000. So we'll regroup the 11,000s as 1, 10,000 and 1, 1,000. We'll now add the 10,000, 7, 8, plus the regrouped, we get 91,494. And that is close to 92,000. So this one is fine. All right, number three. <clears throat> so we can round to the 10,000s in this one. 432,000 is close to 430,000. And 239,000 is close to 240,000. We added a first estimate. And our answer should be close to 670,000. So now on my paper, I'm going to write number three. And I'm going to start with the larger uh, the number on the top, the first add end. I have 432,068. And we're going to add 200. Remember, I want you to start uh, right to left to make sure that the place value is lined up. So actually, I'm going to have a 6, 7, 5, 9, 3, 2. Okay. So the numbers are lined up. 8 plus 6 is 14. Regroup as 1, 10, and 4, 1s. 7 and 6 is 13, plus 1 more is 14. Regroup the 14, 10s as 100 and 4, 1s. Add the 100s, 600s. Combine the 1,000s. We get 11 one thousands. We'll regroup as one ten thousand and one one thousand. Three six plus the regrouped ten thousand is seven. So seven ten thousands and six hundred thousands. So our answer for this one is six hundred seventy one thousand six hundred forty four. That is close to our estimate. But we're happy about that. We gotta have an answer that is reasonable. Okay. All right. So now on number four, let's do our estimate first, and we're gonna to round to the nearest thousand. And sixty-four thousand five hundred five is about halfway, so we're gonna round up to sixty-five thousand. Thirty-eight thousand nine hundred. <clears throat> That's closer to 39,000. So we'll round up on that one too. So we have 9 and 5 is 14. So we'll regroup the 14,000, 1,000s as 1, 10,000 and 4, 1s. And then we're going to add the 10,000. 6, 7, 8, 9 plus the regrouped 1, 10,000 gives us 10. Ten thousands, which is a hundred and four thousand. Okay. So on our paper, let's line up the first number. Put a digit in each column, and then write the second one right to left. Two, seven, nine, eight, three. Just confirm that we've written them correctly. 64,505 plus 38,972. Okay, now we're going to start by adding the ones. Five and two is seven. No need to regroup. Seven and zero is seven. Nine and five is 14. 
So we'll regroup as one thousand and four hundreds. We're going to add the ten thousands. Eight and four is twelve. Plus one more is thirteen thousands. We'll regroup the thirteen thousands as one thousand, uh, one ten thousand and three one thousand. And now add the ten thousands. Nine plus the regroup one gives me ten. So I have nothing else to add, so I'm going to just go ahead and write ten. I get 103,477. 103,477. Very close to 104,000. Again, you're happy about your estimate and your actual answer. Your answer is reasonable. Number five. <clears throat> Let's estimate by rounding to the nearest 10,000. Okay, and in the first one, we would round to 840,000. And in the second one, we're going to round down to 120,000. Okay. Add up our, from right to left, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. So I should get an answer that's close to 960,000. So I'm going to write number five on my lined paper. So the numbers are lined up by place value. And my first number was 839,136. And we will add One hundred twenty thousand one hundred ninety-three. So my place values line up, and now let's combine them. Six and three is nine. We don't need to regroup. Nine and three is twelve. So we will re regroup the twelve tens as one hundred and two tens. Add up the hundreds. I get two hundreds plus the regrouped hundred is three hundred. Nine plus no thousands is nine thousand. Three ten thousands plus two ten thousands is five ten thousands, and eight hundred thousand plus one hundred thousand is nine hundred thousand. So our actual answer: nine hundred fifty nine thousand three hundred twenty nine. That is very close to our estimate. We were only off by about seven hundred. So I know that that's a reasonable answer. Number six. <clears throat> So we're going to estimate, and this time, I notice that this number is in the 10,000s, and this one's in the 100,000s. So I'm going to round both my numbers to the 10,000s. All right, 186,231 is close to 190,000. 88,000 is close to 89,000. Now, if we line this one up left to right, we'd have the 8 underneath the 1, which would mean that it has 800,000. But that is not how I read this number. It is 88,000. So that's why it's very important that we line up right to left with our 1's place. All right. So we've got 0, 0, 0. We add the 1,000s, we get 9. We had the 10,000s at 17. So we need to regroup the 17 10,000s as 100,000 and 7 10,000s. 100,000 plus the regrouped 100,000, 200,000. All right, so our estimate's 279,000. Now let's actually add it, number six. I'm going to write the top add end. Okay. Write the top add end, and now I'm going to write the second number so that it's directly under by place value. So I'm going to have the one, so that the ones are underneath each other. 
The 4 is underneath the 3. The 9 is under the 2. The 8 is under the 6. And the other 8 is under the 8 ten thousandths. So now we can combine them. We have our place value lined up. 1 plus 1, 2 ones. 4 tens plus 3 tens, 7 tens. 900 plus 200 is 1100. We're going to rewrite 1100 as 1,100. Now we can add the thousands and we get 8 and 6 is 14 and one more is 15. So 15,000 we can regroup as 1 10,000 and 5,000. Add the 10,000. 8 and 8 is 16 plus one more is 17. So 17 ten thousands, I would regroup as one hundred thousands and seven ten thousands. Add the hundred thousands, we'd get two. So my answer is 275,172. Is that close to 279,000? Yes, it's within 4,000. So that's Pretty close. All right, number seven. Start by estimating. Okay, they're both in the hundred thousand, so I'm gonna round to the ten thousands. Seven hundred forty-four thousand gets rounded to seven hundred forty thousand. One hundred sixty-eight thousand gets rounded to one hundred sixty-nine thousand. Okay, we're gonna add these up. 0 plus 0, 0 plus 0, 0 plus 0, 9 plus nothing, 9, 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 ten thousands we will regroup as 100 thousands and no 10 thousands. Add the 100 thousands, 7, 8, plus the regrouped 100 thousand is 9. So 909 thousand. Okay. So on our paper, let's look at number 7. Line up the numbers by their value. Let's start with the first atom. 744,201. And we're going to add the second atom by lining up the place values. 8's under the 4, the 6 under the 4, and the 1's underneath the 7. Now just add by place values. Add right to left. One plus nothing, one. So we have one, one. Zero tens plus zero tens. We have zero tens. 900 plus 200 is 1100. Where we can regroup 1100 as 1000 and 100. Eight and four more is 12 thousands plus the regroup one is 13 thousands. Regroup that as one ten thousand and three thousands. So remember, we got eight plus four is twelve, thirteen. So I have the thirteen, but remember the thirteen actually means one ten thousand and three one thousands, because that was the place value we were in. Okay, let's move over to the tens. Six and four is ten, plus one more ten thousand is eleven ten thousands. We're going to regroup that as one hundred thousand and one ten thousand. Finally add up the hundred thousand, seven, eight, plus the regroup one, nine hundred thirteen thousand one hundred one. Nine hundred thirteen thousand one hundred one. Is that close to our estimate? Yeah, we're within four thousand. I'm happy with that. Okay, number eight. So we're going to estimate this one by rounding to the tens, thousands. So this top number gets changed to 370,000. We're going to round down. 187 is closer to 190,000. Let's add those up. Zero, zero, zero. 
zero. Nine and seven is 16. So 16 ten thousands. It will be regrouped as 100,000 and six ten thousands. 300,000 plus 100,000 is 400,000 plus the regroup one, five. So I would expect my answer to be close to 560,000. Okay, so number eight. I'm going to write the first add in 374,096. I'm going to write the second number from the ones to the hundred thousands. Three, four, five, seven, eight, one. And now we just add them up by place value starting from the ones. Six and three is nine. No need to regroup. Nine tens, four tens is 13 tens which is the same as 100 and 3 tens. The hundreds is five plus the regroup one, we're at 600. 7,000 and 4,000 is 11,000, which we will, we will regroup as one 10,000 and one 1,000. Add the 10,000s, we're at 15 plus the regroup one, 16 10 thousands, which will be regrouped as one Hundred thousand and six tens. Hundred thousands, three plus one is four, plus the regrouped five. So our answer is five hundred sixty one thousand six hundred thirty nine. Is that close to our estimate? Yes, it's only a thousand off. Again, we're very happy with that estimate and our actual answer. Number nine. So <clears throat> In number nine, again, I see that this number here is in the ten thousands and this is in the hundred thousands. So I'm going to round both of my numbers to the ten thousands. All right, so 100,738 is just close to 100,000. 19,553 is close to 20,000. So we're going to add that up. 100,000 plus 20,000 is 120,000. Okay, so let's go to number nine on our paper. And I'm going to write the top add end. Then I'm going to add the second add in. I'm going to go right to left to line up by place value. Three, five, five, nine, one. And we'll add that. Eight and five is 11. Regroup as one ten and one one. Five plus three is eight plus one is nine. No need to regroup. Seven and five is twelve hundreds. We will regroup as one thousand and two hundreds. 9,000 plus the regrouped, we get 10,000. We will regroup that as one 10,000 and no thousands. One 10,000 plus the regrouped, 10,000, we get two 10,000s. And one plus nothing is one. So our actual answer is 120,291. Very close. We are off by 291. So, very close. All right, number 10. So, these are both in the hundred thousands. And this time, let's go ahead and round to the hundred thousands. Okay, 512,335 is close to 500,000. Two hundred and ninety seven thousand eight hundred sixty six is close to three hundred thousand. Remember, I rounding to the digit that's underlined. I look to the digit to the right. If it's five or greater, I will increase because that means it's more than halfway to the next number. OK. And five hundred thousand plus three hundred thousand. I know that that's eight hundred thousand. Okay, so 
our answer should be close to 800,000. So let's, let's check it out. So we have 512,335. I'm going to line up the second digit right to left so that the place values line up. Okay, so we've got them lined up by place value. Nice straight columns. Now we can start. We got six and five, which is 11 ones. I'm going to have to regroup the 11 ones as 110 and 11. One. Okay, I'm going to add the nine, uh, the tens, which is nine, plus the regroup 10. So 10 tens. I will have to regroup as one 100 and no tens. The hundreds is 11 plus the regroup 100, which is 1,200. We will rewrite that as 1,000 and two tens. 1,000, seven, eight, nine, plus the regroup one gives us 10,000. Regroup the 10,000 as one 10,000 and no thousands. Okay, the 10,000s, nine plus one is 10, plus one more is 11. So 11 ten thousands will get regrouped as 100,000 and one ten thousand. 500,000 plus 200,000 is 700,000 plus the regroup one gives us 800. So we have come up with an answer of 810,201. Is that close to 800,000? Sure it is. All right, now let's move on to number 11. Find the missing number and name the property you use to find it. Okay, so we have 4,580 plus 5,008. So we've got the sum of 4,580 plus 5,008 plus 2,351 is the same as 4,580 plus the sum of something plus 2,351. So here, I see that those two numbers are the same. And I also notice that those two numbers are the same. So this missing box has to be 5,008. And so what property says that you can regroup the add-ins or group the add-ins differently and still get the same sum? So sometimes we call that the grouping property, but its technical name is the associative property of addition. Okay. And we see that example here. We see that 4 plus 7 plus 3, 4 plus 7 plus 3. The numbers are exactly in the same order, but they are grouped differently. On this side, 7 and the 3 are grouped. On this side, the 4 and the 7 are grouped. I would still get the same answer, though. Okay, so number 12. I see that I have 7,801 plus something is the same as 4,890 plus 7,801. Okay, I noticed that the 7,801 is the same as that 7,801. So if these are going to be equal, this missing box has to be 4,890. So ask yourself, what happened? Well, here, the 7,801 switched places. So here it was first, now it's second. So what property says that we can change the order in which we add add-ins and it will not change the sum? That would be the commutative property of addition. Okay, and we see an example of that right here. We see we have four plus five, and we have the same numbers on the right-hand side, but they're in different order. The five and the four switch places. Okay, So that's the commutative property. 
Number 13, I see that I have 2,592 plus 3,385 equals 3,385 plus something. Again, I see that these two numbers are exactly the same. So if they're going to be equal, this box has to be the, miss the same missing number from the other side. Okay, so this is the same one that we just did. They just switched the order of the 2,592 and the 3,385. So this is also commutative property of addition. All right, let's move on to page 30. Okay. For 14 and 15, use the table. And so when I look at the table, it says major cities of Alaska. And I have three cities. I have their populations listed. And this information comes from the 2009 U.S. Census Bureau estimates. Okay. So, population of those three cities. All right, that's good. What is the combined population? of the three major Alaskan cities. Estimate to verify your answer. Okay, so I'm gonna do number 14 here. And I have three numbers that I have to line up. I have 286,174. Now I'm gonna to go to the second city, Fairbanks, and I'm gonna line that up right to left. So two, five, two. So you notice I'm just going right to left. I right, start two, five, two, five, three. And the main reason we want to do that is so that we know that we're in the right place value. I can't line up my digits left to right, especially if they don't have it. I can if they have the same exact number of place value positions. But just to be on the safe side, it's always better that the second, third, fourth numbers you add, that you start from right to left. Line up the ones, then the tens, then the hundreds. Okay, and we also have to add the third city. And I, again, I'm going to start with the ones place. So I'm going to put a six first. Then it's a nine. Then it's seven. Then it's zero. And then it's three. All right, and it said combine. So we're going to have to add those all together. Now on this one, I'm going to go ahead and do my estimate and my addition all on the same piece of paper. And these two numbers are in the 10,000s. So I'm going to round all of my numbers to the 10,000s. Okay. So I underline the digit that's in the 10,000s, circle the digit to the right. This 286,000 is more than halfway to the next number, so I'd call that 290,000. This next one, 35,000 is more than halfway, or exactly halfway in a sense, um, if we just looked at the 35,000. So we round that up to 40,000. Again, you'll notice I put the four under the nine because they were in the ten thousands. This first number does not have any hundred thousands. Okay, and our final number, we're gonna that's to the left of thirty-five thousand, so it's closer to thirty thousand. All right, so let's add up our numbers. Okay, now we have three digits, so it doesn't matter which order you add them. Um I think I'll go four plus three is seven, and seven plus nine is 16. 16 ten thousands would get regrouped as one hundred thousand and six ten thousands. Two hundred thousand plus the regroup gives us three hundred and sixty thousand. All right. So when we're done adding this problem, we should be close to three hundred sixty thousand. Okay, so the ones. Six and four is ten, plus two more is twelve. We group that as 110 and two ones. You notice that I, I didn't go four plus two is six plus six is 12. I, I switched these around in my head, okay? 
using the unit property in a sense I switched the 35,000 so it came first in my head and I went six and four because that's an easy number to add that's 10 and then I just added the extra two all right so I regrouped the 12 ones as one ten and two ones here I'm going to go nine plus the regrouped 10 to give me 10 and seven more is 17 and five more is 22 I'll regroup the 22 tens as 200 and two tens. Now, I'm looking at these numbers. Which ones do you think are the easiest to add together? Well, I see 2 plus 1 is 3, and 3 plus 7 is 10. 10 plus 2 is 12, so I'll regroup the 12 hundreds as 1,000 and two hundreds. Okay, uh, 5 and 1 is 6. 6 and 6 is 12. Again, regroup the 1,000 as 1, 10,000 and 2,000. Okay, adding these up, I see 8 and 3 is 11, plus 3 more is 14, plus 1 more is 15 tens. So regroup that as 100,000 and 5 ten thousands. Now add your 100 thousands. 200,000 plus 1, 352,000. Are these two numbers close together? Yeah, 352,000 is close to 360,000. So my answer is 352,222. Now 15. The digit five occurs two times in the population of Fairbanks. What is the value of each five? Explain your answer. All right, so Fairbanks. Three, five, two, five, two. And that's what they gave us. And we know that the far right digit is in the ones. The digit next to the ones is the tens. Next to the tens is the hundreds. And then we go into the thousands. So we have five one thousands and three ten one thousands. Okay, so all I did was create a real quick place value chart. Remember the pattern repeats in each period. One, tens, hundreds, one, tens, hundreds, ones, tens, and so on. So my first period is the ones, and my second period is the thousands. So I have five tens, and I also have five one thousands. Okay, so now let's look at our question. It says, what is the value of, the, of each five? So five tens equals 50. And the five one thousands equals 5,000. Sixteen. Kaylee has 164 stamps in her collection. Her friend Nellie has 229 more stamps than Kaylee. How many stamps do Kaylee and Nellie have? How many stamps do they both have? Okay, so 16. Kaylee has 164 stamps. Her friend has 229. Okay, we want to line up right to left, so I'm going to put the 9 here, then a 2, and then the other 2. And now we're going to add these together. 9 ones plus 4 ones is 13 ones. 
which can be renamed as 1 10 and 3 1s. Add the 10s. 6 10s plus 2 10s is 8 10s. Plus the regroup 10, 9 10s. 200 plus 100, 300. So they have 393 stamps. And finally, number 17. Alaska's Glacier Bay National Park had 431,986 visitors one year. The next year, the park had 22,351 more visitors than the year before. How many people visited during the two years? Show your work and explain how you found your answer. So this would be a two-step problem because I don't know how many people visited the second park yet. I know that I have to add because it said there was 22,351 more than the previous year. So let's start there. So 17, I'm going to write 431,986. Okay, so that was the one year. The next year, again, I want to line up by place values, set one, five, three, two, two. So this number is the first year, and this is how many more came the second year. So let's add those up. Seven, six and one is seven ones. Eight and five is 13 tens. Regroup the 13 tens as 103 tens. Add the hundreds, we get nine, plus the regrouped hundred is 10, plus three more is 1300. Regroup as one one thousand and three hundreds. Add the thousands, we get two, three, plus the regrouped, four thousand. Three ten thousands plus two ten thousands is five ten thousands and four. Okay, so that number is our second year. So our second year, they earned, or had 454,337 visitors. Now our second step then is to add those two years together. Again, I'm going to start with the first added, and I have 431,986, and now I'm going to add this value right here. I'm going to line up by place value, 7, 3, 3, 4, 5, 4, and we'll add those together. Okay, so 7 and 6 is 13 ones which gets renamed as 110 and 3 ones. 8 tens and 3 tens is 11 tens, plus one more is 12 tens. 12 tens can be regrouped as 100 and 2 tens. 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 3 more is 1300, which will get regrouped as 1,000 and 300s. Add the thousands, we have 6, Four plus one is five, plus the regrouped is six. Five ten thousands plus three ten thousands is eight ten thousands. Four hundred thousand plus four hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand. So, eight hundred eighty-six thousand three hundred twenty-three. First. I added 22,351 to 431,986 to find the number of visitors for the second year. I then added 431,986 to 454,337. So it says, how many people visited during the two years? Eight hundred eighty-six thousand three hundred twenty-three visitors. And it said, show your work and explain how you found your answer. So we did our work on this separate sheet of paper because we we're practicing writing in uh, 
straight columns. And then we just explained what we did. We had two steps. First, we had to figure out the second year by adding. And then we figured out the first, uh, the total for the two years by adding the two year totals together. Okay, so that's it for 1.6. It, it's uh, the key again is just lining up by place value and taking your time to make sure that you are adding your add ins properly and that you regroup when necessary. Okay, so until tomorrow, may the numbers always be in your favor.